Hey, just doing another quick video here. We got another pool here and we had an issue with the stabilizer getting too high because they have high usage and we had we actually had to use two we were using one or two floaters just to keep this thing clean along with liquid chlorine. So the stabilizer was just rising out of control. So we eventually had to talk to the customer, you know, about other options, either a liquid chlorine feeder or a salt system, something to get us away from the stabilizer. So uh, we chose to do a salt system. I'll give you a quick video on it. Just a there's another example of a salt system. You can fit in tight spaces. You can see the plumbing arrangement I did here. So just to make it fit, it's kind of tight here. So it has to be on the outlet of the heater. You can see in here, see the, the black fitting, that's the check valve right there. We've got a combination 90 degree fitting and check valve. And then we're using high flow fittings. There's another shot at that 90 degree fitting. And what I noticed, what was kind of cool in this, on the uh, the gauge here, you can see the PSI on the gauge. It was much higher. All I did was use high flow fittings. You can see here, all these high flow fittings, sweeping 90s, it actually lowered, actually lowered the pressure in this filter. So it's now it's more efficient. So it takes less electricity past the water through the pool equipment. And uh, so there it is, it just, I cranked it up to 100% because they're gonna use it a lot. It's Fourth of July weekend coming up. And, uh, there it is, easy salt system. We got no more floaters in the pool, we got no more High cyanuric acid, that salt system is just going to add pure chlorine only and no stabilizer.